an important and unbreakable bond with our namesake location. Our bringing Darren downtown lunch enables us to shine a light on Australia's vital agricultural industry and our regional communities to a broader audience. It is an opportunity to bring together business and political leaders to discuss the issues, challenges and opportunities and promote the Wheat Belt as a place to work, live and invest. Our vision is to deliver WA's best sustainable produce to the world. But this could easily be a collective vision for the room as we know that global consumers are increasingly looking for high quality, sustainable produce with a strong provenance story that WA delivers in spades. Hence, we are very aligned to the Dower and Field Day's theme of growing industry, seeding connections, and cultivating communities. To all of these business people from outside the ag sector who've come here today to hear about agriculture, this is an industry that rocks. It is really interesting and exciting. Get behind it. It is so exciting and so pleasing to see the trajectory that the industry across the country, uh, but off the back of you know 20 million tonne wheat crops over here, um, and a couple of good seasons, is that we've shifted the needle from around about $60 billion to 80 billion, over $80 billion. Uh, and that has been largely driven off a couple of good seasons. But if we have a couple of more good seasons and WA delivers another bumper wheat, wheat crop, cereal crop, then um, we're going to get to $100 billion probably before 2030, and I think that's super exciting. So long may it continue. Uh, that being said, there are a couple of real challenges. We need more people coming into this country. We need faster visa processing. Um, we need better skills development at the vocation level, and we need to make sure that people, students, see agriculture as a viable career. We have to do something about the labour challenges facing this industry. We've been saying for far too long that we've been dodging bullets, and with lumpy skin, foot and mouth disease, myrtle rust, capra beetle, you name it, this country's under siege, and we have to do better from a biosecurity system because it underpins, as you all know, it underpins everything that we do in this sector.